Hello everybody. Welcome to Hitman 2. We're doing the um I believe it's I can't remember what it's called. It's the third escalation, um third level escalation bank. I think it's the only one that I have for an escalation anyway. Um I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But You wanna go over there, you wanna pick up the battery and the crowbar. Um, I pick up the hammer just so I have an extra thing to carry around so I can distract if I need to. Um, I'm gonna throw the chloroform into the air ducts. You wanna run back here. Um, it doesn't matter if you're gonna get spotted by the cameras at this point because you're just gonna destroy the evidence anyway. It's not a big deal if you get spotted. But try to avoid it. And then you want to turn these uh, hammers off here. Pull out your hammer. Plug this wall. Then once he turns his head, or not, no, whatever, don't matter. He can't see you, but try not to do it when he's looking your direction, because that increases your chances of getting caught. Uh, just throw the hammer at his head. Drag his body in here. So just in case something goes down, you don't have to uh, worry about the body being found right away. Now we are doing the silent assassin, so bear that in mind. If you haven't done any escalation on silent assassin on the max level yet, you should get the ICA tripwire, which um, is very helpful for a lot of explosive kills where you only need to kill the target. Um, I know some uh, Maps require that, like Hawkus Bay. There's a challenge under the uh, Shinobi um, challenge area of challenge where you have to kill the target with a explosive kill, and you can only kill the target, and you cannot pacify anyone nearby. Um, that one is fairly easy if you have the ICA tripwire. You can always use the mine or the rubber duck proximity mine as well. But um, again, those ones can cause you to fail that challenge. Uh, the tripwire is very directional and it's not a um, like area of effect percussion. So you're not going to have to worry about too much unless someone's behind the door. Um, I found that if you're behind the door will uh, kill you because it does a forward and back explosion just uh, as a forewarning there if you're not aware now we're gonna be killing him with this burial dagger um, as that's and challenge this is how I recommend doing it um, no starting up printer Make sure you turn that off though so it doesn't distract her over there because she's in a perfect spot to get a kill. This battery. Um, gives you an accidental kill anyway so you, you can just not hide her body. Those bodies are fairly well hidden. No one really goes in there unless you set the alarm off. Pick up this propane here. Um, I recommend coming to pick this key up as well. Um, I would highly recommend picking that up because once you do that explosion kill, there's no guarantee that no one will hear it and try to rush over there. And if you don't have that key, or if you didn't know where it was, you're going to be scrambling trying to get rushing to another exit while <laughs> wearing the bank heist um, disguise, which is not the uh, best idea be doing that to be honest with you um go you want to knock him out with that and then just claw him right in the head 
I recommend hiding his body because I'm pretty sure someone does come through here. Um, let's pick up a second propane. Um, grab it. There we go. Um, don't need it because the other propane was just fine. I already set it off, and I don't want it. Just in case. <laughs> Um, because I'm not sure if it's already voided or not. Now what I recommend here is to... Throw the hammer right that way. Distract one of them. You don't need to distract both, just one. Not normal to throw stuff around. And come up behind him. Claw him. Throw that toward him. Pick his body up. Put them like right on top of each other. This is the best method in my opinion. Close the door. Just in case. And then you just want to drop this right in between them. Now since you only have a non-sounds gun. Now... I recommend getting out of the way a little bit. And just in case, that's why we got that key. But you can just leave. And, uh, just to show you that it does do that. Get you view Silent Assassin there. Um, I'll just wait until the end. Oh yeah, that's right, I got Chameleon the last time I played this. Um... Silent Assassin. It's about a six minute one. Um, kind of made it a little slower. By doing that, you could probably do it in less time. But that includes um, level three of uh, the Dalton Discretion. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment. Let me know exactly what you thought about the video. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button with that bell icon. So you don't miss future content and streams and if you want to help support the channel go follow my patreon link will be in the description below um i have a few tiers um 15 dollars and up will give you early access to videos and exclusive streams so thank you everyone for tuning in have a great night and i hope to see you again in the very next video